Dozens of Perry County residents are picking up the pieces after a tornado touched down Thursday afternoon. Members of the National Weather Service spent hours today surveying damage. News 3's Fahima Pagmani takes us to the scene. House tell me they received a tornado warning notification on their cell phone and they said that they did not think twice. They ran straight down to their basement. Gary Harris, you know, the owner of this house, says that he actually saw this tree crushing down his house as he ran to safety. Really, it happened so quick. We were, we were pretty scared. <laughs> Harris spends Friday rebuilding, cleaning, and fixing the damage after a tornado ripped through his neighborhood. He says it's going to cost him thousands of dollars in repairs. I don't think you're ever prepared for this, something like this. I don't, I mean, we wasn't, but uh, I mean, it happened and uh, yeah, I've been through it. I mean, but ne never like this. EMA director Chuck Genicio says thankfully no one was severely hurt. That is a possibility that somebody could have lost their life, yes. Genicio says vehicles were also destroyed and numerous power lines knocked down. This was a most definite touchdown. The warning coordination meteorologist at NWS explains the Sunfield area is not the only area that has damage. There's damage to the northeast of here. It's primarily tree damage, uh, but it, that's very important to look at tree damage. Sometimes that is the determining factor on the top end or what the actual peak winds were in a tornado. He urges people to prepare for severe weather. This is an example of the time of the year we're in. We see the threat of severe weather ramp up as we go into the spring months, uh, including tornadoes. So. Uh, it just speaks to the fact that we all need to be prepared. Harris says although it might take some time to repair the area, he's going to continue to stay optimistic. I'm pretty religious and I know there's a lot in the end of the tunnel, so we'll be okay. Reporting in Perry County, Fahima Pagmani, News 3. The National Weather Service says preliminary surveys show two EF1 tornadoes moved through southern Illinois Thursday, one in Sunfield, the other in Dahlgren.